God is glorified in revival when He shows His mighty power to save. Pastor Todd with a devotional for September 10. We've seen this but three times. Psalm 83, verse 7 and 19, the psalmist cries out for God to restore them and cause His face to shine upon them so they will be saved. As I said, this no doubt referred to deliverance from their enemies, but it also has a spiritual dimension because sin and idolatry were at the root of Israel's problems. They needed for God to save them spiritually. We need to understand salvation is not a human thing where a person of his own free will decides to ask Jesus into his heart. Salvation is when God imparts new life to dead sinners. He changes their hearts so they believe and obey. It's more than a human decision. It's an act of God. Elizabeth Keckley was a slave in Missouri before the Civil War. Her greatest desire was to purchase freedom for herself and her son. Her owner agreed that if she could raise $1,200, she could gain her freedom. Keckley worked as a seamstress and came up with a plan to go to New York City and work there to raise the money. But her owner feared she would not return. Instead, some of her wealthy clients in St. Louis contributed the money she needed, and Elizabeth Keckley paid the price for her freedom as well as her sons. She moved to D.C., where she counted Mary Lincoln among her dressmaking clients. Without the help of someone else, Keckley would never have been able to purchase her freedom. All of us were enslaved to sin with no hope of ever gaining freedom. In mercy and compassion, Jesus gave his life for us, purchasing our salvation by shedding his blood on the cross.